I heart, get ready. Fantasy football is here. Welcome to the Scout Fantasy Show. ScoutFantasy.com is home to the Fantasy Football World Championships and the best players in the world. Real money winners giving their secrets to help you win. Now exclusively on iHeart. This is the Scout Fantasy Show with your host, the one, the only, Dr. Roto. It's Dr. Roto. Get out the insurance cards. Get out the copay. The office is open, my friends. So, we got a big Thursday night contest. We'll be talking about that in just a minute. And uh, we will also take a look at some news and notes. Uh, so, let's see what's going on out there. See who's playing, who's not playing. Starting about noon on Thursday, you get reports dribbling in. So-and-so practice. So-and-so is not practice. This guy's looking good. This guy's not looking good. I, I usually just take that in. And digest it, and I look for more information as the week goes on. So if a guy's not practicing on Thursday, I'm okay. I can live with it. It's when he's not practicing Friday I get very concerned. And then, of course, when we wait on Sunday morning and get the the bad news, right? Uh, He's out. He's inactive. So right now, Will Fuller is practicing. He's practicing on Thursday. He looks like he's going to return. Bruce Ellington's on the IR. C.J. Fedorowicz on the IR, it looks like Will Fuller's back. So I feel pretty good about using him. Adrian Peterson, still not practicing. Um, I'm concerned. Kerwin Williams, most likely going to start. I I had my hand in D.J. Foster last week. That didn't didn't go anywhere. I don't hate D.J. Foster, but I can't buy in until I see more. Tredavious White, by the way, looks like he's cleared the concussion protocol. So... Looks like he's going to play. By the way, every time I see this play, I think Rob Gronkowski should be arrested for assault. That was assault. The guy was defenseless on the ground, and he pummeled him. That is what we call assault. I don't care whether you're a Patriots fan or not. Watch the play. Tell me I'm wrong. And if you tell me I'm wrong, I'll ask you to be more objective. Because I don't think you're being very objective if you think that was an assault. All right, Matthew Stafford practiced today. Okay, that's good. I think that he's an interesting play. A lot of people may not want to play him. And he, look, he could get injured during the game. That can happen. But I I like Matthew Stafford as a start this week. I like him against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for sure. Sterling Shepard practicing. I just don't know how much I like him this week. I think Dallas is going to do a good job on him, so... Not 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 oversold on Sterling Shepard this week. Chuck Hendrick West practicing. Chris Hogan practicing. I think Hogan is active this week, but will play very very sparingly. Maybe five or six snaps. Nothing with nothing. This is Bill Belichick's mo. Hogan probably gets activated. Gets five or six snaps, maybe gets one target, nothing with nothing, and then next week against Pittsburgh, he scores two touchdowns. That's just how it works. That's how it works. Tom Brady did not practice whatever. Tom Brady's playing. Don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about Tom Brady. All right, uh, Jonathan Stewart practicing. Damian Williams not practicing. Kenyon Drake in. Joe Mixon not practicing yet. Looks like right now, Gio Bernard's a guy you want to own. This could be a big week for Gio Bernard. This is a Gio Bernard week, guys. Get him in your lineups. Let's see. Kelvin Benjamin, practicing. Charles Clay, practicing. Jalen Ramsey, practicing. Alan Hearns, still not practicing. Tyrod Taylor, practicing. I don't know if he plays... I'm not going to buy into it. Greg Olson practicing. Don't feel great about it. John Ross, right? He was put on the injured reserve. A lot of guys went on the injured reserve, right? A lot of guys went on injured reserve. So I don't know if you, by the way, Telvin Smith practiced. Like seeing that. Telvin Smith is a phenomenal linebacker for the Jaguars. Phenomenal. Aaron Rodgers, looking pretty good in practice. Looking pretty good. So keep your eyes on Aaron Rodgers. If he's out there in your league, you may want to go get him. 
The Browns fired Sashi Brown. Uh, you know, bye. See ya. But they're going to keep you, Jackson. I don't know why. I don't know why. But, I, I mean, I'll say this. I think the players like Hugh Jackson, but I don't know, man. I think Hugh Jackson's got issues. If you can't tell that Deshaun Kaiser's not very good at this point, I don't know what more to do. He's got to do more with this offense. Hugh Jackson's known as a good offensive mind, but his team is not producing good offensive numbers. And he does have players. Don't kid yourself. Crowell, good. Duke Johnson, good. Corey Coleman, good. Josh Gordon, good. David Njoku, good. You got guys there. Trust me, a lot of teams would wish they had guys like that. They just don't have a quarterback. Right? I'm just throwing that out there for you. I think that bringing back Hugh Jackson, not the greatest move. But And, and, and if I'm a general manager, I want my guy. I want my guy. See, that's the key. You hire me as a general manager. I don't want some coach I didn't bring in. I want my guy. So whoever they bring in, they're going to meet with Hugh Jackson. They're going to say all the right things. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a good fit. I like you. We go back a long way together. Blah, blah, blah. Met him last week, right? And then the guy comes in. And then, you know, a year later, he's fired. I could have told you that. Why? Because people want their people. They want people they trust. You get a job tomorrow. Do you want the people who are already in there in your office uh, who, as your assistants? Or do you want to bring in your staff? You want to bring in your staff because they will be loyal to you. That's what people do. Right? The other staff, they're loyal to the other guy. You want people loyal to you. You fire Sashi Brown. I think you need to bring, you need to fire Hugh Jackson, but Jimmy Haslam's nuts. I mean, if there's a decision that can be made poorly, leave it to Jimmy Haslam. He'll be making that poor decision. He will be. Be making that poor decision. I trust, in Jimmy, I trust to screw it up. No doubt about that. No doubt. Okay. Big game. Big, big game. Big. Huge. Let's look at some implications here. This is a big one. New Orleans 9-3. and three. Atlanta 7-5. and five. Atlanta wins this one. Puts them squarely on the map for the playoffs. They lose this one. Could be bye-bye. Right? Eagles are in. Vikings are in. Rams and Seahawks look pretty in. Saints look pretty in. Carolina, Atlanta fighting with Seattle. So if Atlanta wants to get in, they better win tonight. Big game for the Falcons. But I was talking with my friend. Man, I'm not saying anything that you guys don't know. I'm saying Steve Sarkeesian's been a disaster. The Falcons look different. They're not running great plays. Julio's had a couple of good games, not very many. Matt Ryan looks pedestrian. Taylor Gabriel's not getting open. I know Freeman was out, but you watching this team, there's nothing going on there. And I like Matt Ryan tonight. I do. But I think this game is about New Orleans. How well does their defense play? Can their defense put pressure on Matt Ryan? If they can, and if the cornerbacks continue to play well, if Marshawn Lattimore can cover Julio Jones, it's going to be a long day for the Saints. I mean, for the for the Falcons. Long day. Because I think the Saints have, a, have an offense that, that are, that's without question. Drew Brees, star. Ingram, star. Alvin Kamara, superstar. Ask yourself this question. If we were drafting tomorrow, would Alvin Kamara be a top five pick? I think the answer is yes. I think he would be a top five pick. Michael Thomas, Ginn, Coleman, Sneed. Don't forget Willie Sneed. You know, don't worry that Kobe Fleener's not there anymore. Uh, Drew Brees uses the tight end begrudgingly. He used Jimmy Graham because Jimmy Graham was great. But since then, he didn't really use Fleener, Josh Hill, whatever, Huma Nanue, whatever. You'll see Thomas, you'll see Ginn, you'll see Coleman, you'll see Sneed, you'll see Ingram, you'll see Kamara. You'll see a lot of these guys. A lot. So, their offense is there. Their offense is on point. Is their defense ready to play? Can Crawley and Lattimore stop Julio Jones? 
Because we're outside, think about this. Is Mohamed Sanu, he's okay. Is Gabriel a great player? No. Is Austin Hooper a great player? No. Freeman, ask yourself this question. How many games this year has Freeman gone over 100 yards? One. To the Lions. Everybody goes over 100 yards to the Lions. Since week six, hasn't found the end zone. Right? Hasn't found the end zone. Hasn't put up more than 75 yards. Actually, more than 72 yards to be exact. We have issues. Actually, 74. Excuse me. My bad. I was right with 75 in the first place. So we have issues here. How is Atlanta going to find that offense? Their defense has to play well. Trufant has to cover Michael Thomas. They've got to stop the running game. And that's how they're going to get this done. But I think the biggest mistake people can make, and somebody had tweeted me this before. Okay? Somebody had tweeted me this before. How do you not play Michael Thomas? How do you not play Michael Thomas? I know Trufant is good. I get it. But there's no way I'm sitting Michael Thomas. You're in the fantasy playoffs. It's week 14. My guess is you either need this to get in or you're in. You want to be benching Michael Thomas? I'm not. I'm not benching him. I know Trufant's a good player, but not that good. He's not locked down corner good. He's good corner good, but he's not me benching Michael Thomas good. Right? Maybe only Patrick Peterson gets that role. Everybody else, I'll play. I won't love it, but I'll play him. I am playing Michael Thomas tonight. Don't go crazy on me. If I'm going to lose, I'll lose. Right? But I can't be benching Michael Thomas and playing Brandon LaFell. That's just not smart. I, like I said, there's risky and there's just plain old crazy. Risky I'm okay with. Crazy I'm not. Crazy's not playing Michael Thomas. He's their, he's their best receiver. Are we going to bench him now? They'll figure out a way to get him open. You think Michael Thomas goes one for 15? I don't think so. I just don't think so. I don't see it. So please, don't overreact tonight. The easiest thing you could do is overreact tonight. Do I love Julio Jones against Marshawn Lattimore? No. Am I benching Julio Jones? Are you insane? Of course I'm not. I'm playing my stars. My stars are stars for a reason. This is why I have them. I have Michael Thomas and Julio Jones because I know that this is a big game in Atlanta, New Orleans. It's not going to be a 7-7 game in the fourth quarter. It's going to be like 27-24 like it always is. Like it always is. Let me get you that number. Please hold. Please continue to hold. Thank you for holding. Let's see. 52! Vegas has this game at a 52! You don't think there's going to be points in this bad boy? 27-24? I'm dead right. 28-24. Boom! There you have it. That means the winning team is going to score four touchdowns. Is that going to be Mark Ingram with three touchdowns? Yeah, I don't think so. So, don't go crazy on me, guys. Play your best players. Don't overthink it. Okay? Don't overthink it. All right, one quick injury note here. Robbie Anderson had a little hamstring injury at Thursday's practice. Okay, so I'm a little worried. I didn't really like him this week as it was against Denver. I may like him less against Denver. I'm going to keep my eyes on this one. But there was just a tweet that said he was limited in practice after injuring his hamstring today. So this is a very bad injury right now. Very bad injury for Robbie Anderson. People have been relying on Robbie all year. And I don't know if we can use him in the playoffs. If he's out, Jermaine Curse is in. Austin Safarian Jenkins in for sure. Okay? I'm hoping my guess is Anderson doesn't really play tomorrow because they don't want to push it. That'd be my guess. We'll have to see. Okay? Uh, Matt Forte did play. There was a tweet. He played and he was limited, but he was in practice. Okay? So let's keep our eyes on that. So, remember, what am I telling you about? Play your players tonight's game. Ingram, Kamara, Ginn, Thomas, Breeze, Julio, Coleman, Freeman, Ryan, 
Use them all, liberally. Vegas has it as a 52. That gives me 52 reasons to watch this game. Not like I needed any in the first place. All right, time now to put away the insurance cards, put away the copay. The office is closed, my friends. If you have guys playing tonight, I wish you much luck. I hope they give you the points that you need. All right, I know I need Kamara, and I need Michael Thomas in some teams, so I'll be looking for them to do very well. All right, I also want, speaking of very well, you'll be doing very well on ScoutDFS.com. Yesterday, if you played NBA and you had the Pelicans, the optimizer gave you the Pelicans. If you had Cousins, if you had Rondo... You might be my rich friend today. So please check out ScoutDFS.com and, of course, ScoutFantasy.com. Be a member of the Scout Army and let us help you win a fantasy football championship. All right, back tomorrow with my hot takes and my, my review of tonight's game. All right, wishing you a great day. Be well. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Scout Fantasy Show. There's never been a better time to join the Scout Army. Visit ScoutFantasy.com. Use the promo ROTO for two months free. And don't forget, fantasy players, please thumbs up the podcast on the iHeart app. See you next time. Go Scouts!